What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Pyrostasis here, and today I'm going to show you guys, uh, basically starting a brand new series on my channel, and we're going to be covering um, a ton of different Minecraft mods, um, and how to install them, what they do, uh, how they're going to affect your game, etc, etc. So I want to go ahead and give a brief warning disclaimer that uh, I cannot be held responsible for the files that you download or what they may or may not do to your computer or your version of Minecraft. So make sure that you back up everything, including your worlds, before you do any modifications. That being said, one of the most basic uh, mods that you need for most mods in Minecraft is something called Mod Loader. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the website real quick as I see it for Mod Loader. It's on minecraftdl.com forward slash modloader dash rizugami dash download. Um, I cannot give you the link for this uh, directly for the file right here because it does use Adfly and that's not allowed by YouTube's terms of service. But I will link you to this page. It's going to be in the description down below. So to get the game or to get the mod, that's where you're going to want to go to download. All right, once you've got it downloaded, to install this bad boy, it's uh, it's fairly simple. Odds are, you know, you want to go to where you've got the download directory first and extract that file. And once you've got that extracted, you're going to want to go down to your computer, get that dragged over here. Now, if you've got multiple files on your, or multiple hard drives on your computer like I do, um, you can't just come down here and type percent app data. Um, if you only have one hard drive, then it's significantly easier. You just come down there and type app data, and you should be able to find what you're looking for. But you're going to want to go down to C, users, your name, whatever the hell that is, app data, roaming, why it's in roaming, I don't know, but it is, Minecraft, and then bins. And then this right here is going to be your quote-unquote Minecraft directory and install. So one more time, let me show you where to go. That's your C drive or wherever you've got it installed, you're going to go to Users. I'm Pyrostasis, so that's the name of my setup. Um, you know, yours may be your name, your nickname, your parents' nickname, your brother's, whichever profile you installed it on. So if you're logged on your brother's account, you're going to need to be on there to access Minecraft. So you access that, and then you go to App Data, and then Roaming. Minecraft, dot Minecraft, not Minecraft, and then Ben. Now, once you're in here, you're going to see a bunch of different JAR files. Those are actually the Java executable files that you're wanting to more or less add to. So we've already got open the, the JAR file, but I'll show you guys how to do that. You're going to come down here and right click, and then you're going to open it with either WinZip or WinRAR. Now, I use WinRAR, so I open it with WinRAR, and once it's opened, you get something that looks like that. Now, I have already opened, if I can find it, I believe I put it on my desktop, yep. I've already extracted the mod loader files. So what you basically do is you're going to highlight all these little bad boys here, and then you're going to merge them into this Java directory like this. And then you just click OK, and it adds all of these files here, over here to this one right here. And to confirm... Let's see, ADL, I think is one of the things, ADL class, ABC, if I can spell AD, ADL.class, I've got roughly 23K here, roughly 24K, and you can see that all these files have been merged in. Now, once that's merged in, it is installed, and you are good to go. Now, you can just file it, fire up the game and you're ready to rock and roll. Now, most of the time your mods are going to require specific add-ons also to be added into there. I will be covering those on the specific uh, installs for each individual mod. So, hope you guys found this helpful. Remember, check the description down below where you can find a mod loader for Minecraft. Uh, as of the making of this video, the link was accurate and it functioned and worked. So. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please click that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.